Hey, tonight from the coop, I'm going to share another way of candling um, chicken eggs. Last time I used a flashlight, and I'll put that link in the description so you can watch that. But I have another way that you can. You can use your cell phone flashlight on the back and Play-Doh. So if you're interested in learning how to do this, stick around. Okay, it's nighttime again in the coop. And um, I've candled Belinda's eggs when they were about 10 days old. And they're about 13, 14 now. And this will be the last time that I candle her eggs. I'm gonna leave her alone until she um, hatches her eggs sometime next week. And I will be vlogging about that. But um, I've been sitting down here with her a few minutes. Jan's trying to go to sleep. But, um, I'm, this, like I said, this is the last time I'm going to disturb her. So, all you do is take your cell phone, cut your flashlight on, make sure it's all the way up to the brightest level. Then you take Play-Doh and you just roll it out and make like a, a circle, see like that. And you place it over the bowl like that. I don't know if you can see that or not. It's bright. Okay. But now... For the good part, I'm going to start getting her eggs. Like I said, last time we candled them, she's sitting on six eggs, and we found that she was four were definite um, babies or embryos in the egg. And there was two that one I knew was definitely nothing in it. The other one looked like it had, it had become an embryo, but it had detached at an early stage, and I, I don't think it was any good. But we're going to check them again tonight. And again, I apologize for the noise. I'm going to mark the ones that um, are a dud. You, all you do is just place it on the Play-Doh. I'm going to have to cut the light off. I don't know if you can see this or not. You, actually, this is a definite definite you see you just really can't see it as well as you can with the flashlight using the flashlight but that is a that's a embryo in there okay that's egg one okay this is egg two. Oh, i don't know if you can see this or not this is a good one this you can see the air sac in the bottom let me turn around like this so you can see it you can see it really good now, like that. That's a definite, definite embryo. Okay, egg number three. I'm sorry, Belinda. This is a dark egg, and I, you, right here, it's solid, but there, I don't know if you can see the little egg sac at the bottom close to the red. There's definitely a baby in this one. Like I said, you just, the, you can candle them this way and you can see them, but it's just, to me, I like it better with a flashlight. Okay, those three are definite babies. I can't believe I picked the first four out. I'm gonna turn this one upside down. This is a definite baby too. I don't know if you can see that or not. It's so hard to see. Like I said, you can see so much better with a flashlight. Okay, that's a definite baby. The last two, I guess, will be the ones that are not fertilized. I'm so sorry, Belinda. Okay, you'll be able to see this. This is definitely nothing in there. And I'm going to mark that with a Sharpie. So, because I'm going to put them back up under her. I'm going to put a circle. So, when the babies do hatch, I'll probably crack these open and know that these were the ones that didn't have anything in them. I'm getting the last one. She is not happy. So this one should be not fertilized either. And again, it's not. I don't know if you can see that. 
you can see straight through it. Uh, you can see a little dark spot, but what that is, that's just the yolk. So I'm gonna mark this one also. The circle. Okay, I can't believe I picked up the first. I'm sorry, I'm gonna put these back in there. The first four I picked up were the the fertilized eggs and she is not happy but I'm getting them back up under her here you go I'm so sorry <laughs> using the cell phone it really the flashlight and the play-doh it's a it's a whole lot easier using this to see the the embryo but I still like using the flashlight better but I'll put the link to that video in the description um, so you can see how I candled it with the flashlight and the felt and the duct tape but all you do like I said is just take the play-doh ring put it over the the flashlight bulb and set the egg on top and we definitely have four babies coming and two that's that's not fertilized and like i said i went ahead and marked those so stick around if you want to um see belinda's babies whenever they hatch